Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So welcome to my new course Unit Testing with the Jasmine Testing Framework. Yeah. So in the previous course we have seen about the testing JavaScript testing fundamentals we have seen, right? Now in this course we will learn one framework from top to bottom that is nothing but the Jasmine Testing Framework. So why I have chosen this Jasmine Testing Framework is so the Angular officially supports this Jasmine testing framework before learning about this Angular unit testing. So we need to know what are the features that Jasmine testing framework produce, gives to us. So we need to learn the features that are available in the Java Jasmine testing framework. Then only we will be able to understand this Angular unit testing, right? Without knowing this Jasmine testing, uh, ja Jasmine. So we, uh, we cannot uh, understand fully understand this Angular unit testing. So for that reason, first we'll learn what is what is this Jasmine testing framework? What are the features that are available in the Jasmine and how we can use this Jasmine? Let's try to see it. So first we will try to understand what is unit testing and why we need to use the unit testing and how to do the unit testing. So first we will try to learn about these three questions. So these are the three questions we important. So JavaScript is a unit testing framework. So that means unit testing framework means first we need to know actually what is unit testing then after knowing this what is unit testing then you need to know why we need to write unit testing for our code so now after knowing that why we need to write so after knowing the advantages of that one then we need to know how to write the unit test so these are the steps we need to understand so let's try to explore one by one in this video so introduction to jasmine so first in this video we will learn why we need to do unit testing and also why we need to choose jasmine and why only jasmine we need to use let's try to see it. let us start with what is unit testing so this is also one of the important fundamental questions so fundamental question so if you are new to testing and you know how to do the code and all those things and you are coming from the first time for you are doing the unit testing testing means then you need to fundamental understand what is unit testing so why we need to what is unit testing unit testing is a test is testing individual units of code so that is simple thing unit testing is nothing but testing individual units of code individual units of code now you need to understand what is this units of code here unit is nothing but the smallest testable part of your code the smallest testable part of your code is nothing but a unit so it can be a function it can be a service it can be a component whatever it may be the smallest testable part of your code is nothing but a unit and testing that unit is nothing but a unit testing so this is the basic fundamental meaning for the unit testing now we know what is unit testing now we need to know why we should write unit testing for our code so testing individual units of code so fundamental functions and all those things isolated functions these are all the things so testing for testing you will be writing the unit testing now why we need to write the unit testing for our code first one is the trust changes you make on existing that means already tested code so for example you have a code that is already tested pass work okay, and everything is working it's a bug free everything is working now when you make the changes on your existed code already tested code okay when you make your changes so you need to trust those changes right so when you are going to publish those changes you need to make sure that these are the changes what i have did it should it will not affect the existing code existing feature so if you want to trust on that one means unit testing is compulsory so if the all the unit tests what i have written previously all the tested pass means then you can trust your changes that it is the changes what I am going to make will not affect the previous feature. So you can trust your changes. So that is the first main thing. So you can trust your changes. Whatever the changes you have made on the existing code, if the testing goes on very well means after your changes, then you can trust your changes. So that is the first thing. If you don't have unit tests, so for example, now if you do, you made the changes, you don't have unit tests for your code. So if you don't have unit test for again, every time when you change the code, we need to test it manually each page, each feature before you publish. So this is this will be a very painful task. Every time you change you, you change in the existing code, every time you need to test it manually each page, each feature before you publish. So that is also one of the tedious job. So if you have unit test means, so this manually checking and all those things will be 
automatically will be gone so or otherwise if you don't have any test means you need to every time you need to change if you change the change means if you do any change anything change means then you need to test it manually why because we don't know where it will affect the code so the code what we have written where it will affect we will not able to understand so we don't know so for that reason we need to check each feature another reason is the code quality so this is also one of the thing. the code that is tested is best okay the 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 meaning itself you will be able to understand so code quality means if your code is bug free and if the feature and whatever the feature you have implemented the code is working very well means if it is tested well means then your code is your code quality is good so automatically if your code is bug free and all those things means your code quality is best so you have a good code quality so that is the main reason changes occur quickly so when you have the changes that occurs quickly then also unit testing is very much important why because so you have a client and your client is going so if you have a project and in that project the changes are going to occur uh, immediately so frequently you are going to make the changes and we need to publish it so if those changes are like that means if your code is tested well means we can release the changes very quickly without breaking okay why because so for example you made the changes and you will test all the unit tests and all the things everything works fine without any breaking and you can publish the changes without any with trust and without with confidence you can you can publish for example if you if the changes occurs very quickly and you make the changes and you publish means so you don't know where the feature has been broken so we will not able to understand right so for that reason if any project has the changes occurs very quickly means unit tests are the best thing so we to uh, to publish it and, and the last one is the it documents your own code so the unit test provides a good documentation for your code so what type of documentation for example you have a function and you have written a unit test for your function so now the unit writing a unit test for your function means then you will understand that so what is this function what what are the parameters that we have to pass to that function what is the return value expected return value for that function everything we will be testing so that means your unit test will acts as a documentation for your function or component or anything whatever it is so unit tests are the way of explaining the function what it does so what it does what is the return value or what it does and what are the parameters it has to be passed so that means it documents your own code so tomorrow if you comes and if you see that function you don't know so you can see the unit test and you can understand that okay this, so this is the expected value it is giving and these are the parameters i need to pass it so by seeing the unit test we can understand about the function so this provides a good documentation for your own code so now we understood some of the fear the advantages of why we need to use the unit testing so there are many unit test frameworks available in the market so there are very very many unit test frameworks available like just jasmine mocha there so many things are there out of them jasmine is one of the testing framework so then why jasmine so why we need to use the jasmine jasmine comes out of the box with everything so you need to test your code so jasmine comes out of the box so what i can say is when you install the jasmine so it comes out of the box with everything so whatever the things you need for testing your code so it comes out of the box everything so you need to test your code so there is no need to install other other items and all those things so jasmine is very easy so i can't say that other other frameworks also uh, does not provides like that so other frameworks also provides jasmine also provides for you those things and the installation of the jasmine and everything will be very easy so other other frameworks also has been came but jasmine is also one of the framework which provides us very easy to install and we can uh, we can write the code with very easily so very good documentation and very good support is there in the internet so we can code uh, we can write we can test the code using jasmine so very easily so that is the main benefit of using the jasmine so another thing is angular officially supports the jasmine so that is the main reason so we need to use the jasmine so if you want to write the angular testing and all the things so jasmine is the officially supported thing you can use the jest and everything also in the angular but jasmine is the most common thing that all the people will be using outside in the companies for the angular so this is the this is why we need to use the jasmine so hope you understood about this unit testing and all those things in the next video we will try to install the jasmine for sample application we will do it and we will see what are the features and all those things available in the jasmine let's try to see it Hope you understood about this introduction. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. 
And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.